<laughs> Folks, welcome to the lovely and also beautiful Sports Focus. <laughs> I am your host, John McNeil. With me is Mr. Kevin Sibbles. What's going on? How you doing? Man, I'm great. You great? I'm great. We got some <laughs> stuff to get into. You know, we got some, uh, I just want to mention right quick how the Yankees have you seen baseball, the standings lately? No, I haven't, but I heard they, I, last I've listened to it, they say they were, pretty, they were holding on pretty good. Yeah, they're 30 games above 500 at this point. The Red Sox is teetering, you know. Yeah. They're going to need a miracle to come back. So, I don't know. Yankees are hot. Yankees are on fire. Yes, they are. You know, we're going to get into some of that. We're going to get into some NFL. We're getting into some local stuff. But Hers. And also, I want to—we're gonna get into Mr. Tyreek Hill. Get deep up in there. But first, <laughs> you know, want to start it off by recognizing one of the true, true greats of the sports world, <laughs> boxing's Hall of Famer, all-time great. <laughs> Is on. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Bad stuff. <laughs> That's how you do when you when you're going live. You I just got keep you. Keep rocking and rolling. I got just you. Act like it was nothing. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Y'all just seen. I just went to doom. Bam. Pernell Sweet Pea Whitaker unfortunately passed away. In Virginia Beach. Hit by a car. Hit by a car. Um, My brothers went to school with him. Really? Yeah, yeah. He was in the top, um, the Youngs, Youngs Park, and now it's called Youngs Terrace for housing project. We grew up in the Tidewater Park housing project, and my, they went to Booker T. Washington High School. Oh, got to hang out with him a few times. Great guy. Anybody know? Because I didn't hear if it was just a, was a drunk driver or. Oh, just... they no. They say the driver stayed on scene, and answered the questions and everything. I, I really think he just didn't see him. Probably was distracted on something else. Oh. It didn't say he was drunk or drinking or anything else like that, but they said they were investigating and he was on the scene. But Charlemagne the God. Uh oh. What does Charlemagne say now? You know, he sat there and said, oh, oh, you can dodge all those punches in the ring, but you couldn't dodge the car. <gasps> oh, karma. Karma. You heard it here first. Charlemagne the God. You never wish nothing bad on people. But sometimes when people say stuff that they shouldn't say and, they, and it gets out there, things tend to happen to, to those yeah. people. Yeah, it does. If, if Stay away from that, brother. I'll tell you that right now. And that's, that is that is That's actually crazy. worse than what uh, the, the black rapper, when Nipsey Hussle's passed, you know, when he got killed. Right. And, huh? Yeah. Kodak Black, when he said that about Lauren um, Hutton, yeah, when he said that about her, that was this, that was worse. Yeah, because that's this movie no both sense. of them disrespectful. Jeez, Charlemagne, woo! But let's move on. Rest in peace, Sweet Pea, one of the best to ever do it. And he got robbed against Julio Cesar Chavez. Yes, he did. He got, got robbed, robbed. on a few of them. He got robbed, but that's okay. All right, we got some local stuff to get into. We got our soccer, Hartford Athletic. In the heat. That's right. Ooh, I don't know how they did that one. Man, pickle juice. Pickle <laughs> juice something. They are get, having their home game at Dillon Stadium, July 27th, which is Saturday against uh, the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Here can believe. That's a Little very house. interesting name. Five o'clock is going down, and also what's going down in the city is the New England Football League's Hartford Colts. That's right, your own Hartford Colts semi-pro football team. Now, New England Football League is the largest semi-pro league in the country. Hmm. And it's right here in Hartford, Connecticut, at the Annie Fisher School. Check it out. They're playing the Brawlers. At 5.45 p.m. Saturday. So you either got, you got your soccer and you got your 
Football. You got football. You got we got it all going on now. That was a beautiful thing we had this in that past uh Saturday. We had the soccer. We had this. We had great time. And we're yeah, gonna keep it going. Busy. Busy, busy, busy. And also the following week, August third, we have uh the Colts. And they're playing the Crusaders at Bristol Eastern High School. So get out there and support your local semi-pro football team. Now, to someone who just got into the Hall of Fame, who you think I'm about to tell you, say? Who just got into which Hall of Fame? Baseball, which they don't even televise like the NFL Hall no, of Fame. No, they don't. Didn't um, the Yankees release pitcher get in? Yay! He didn't even know. He used that 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 Jedi stuff. <laughs> Mariana Rivera. <laughs> the greatest ever. <laughs> didn't that uh, Yankee guy? But, uh, yeah, Hall of Famer. He was one of the... If not the greatest closer ever, yeah, he was yeah. amazing. The greatest, my favorite team and greatest sports team I've ever seen in my lifetime, the '98 Yankees. Awesome sauce. Now follow up on uh, the brother that lost his arm that played for the Dolphins. <laughs> Turns out, you know, he was uh, sort of at fault. Um, you know, it was that's a, why they kept it hush. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he got waived the uh, following week. So I uh, guess we won't be hearing no more about Kendrick Norton, just maybe his recovery, and we wish him the, the best. best. Yes, yeah. we do. Now, we didn't get to talk about the guy who got traded. Which guy? Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. You got it. Russell Westbrook got traded to the Houston Rockets. Do you think? Nope. All right, well, <laughs> Will they coexist? Well, I was going to say, do you think they're going to lose even more with him? I, I don't think they're going to lose anymore. It's just a matter of, is Harden going to give up the ball? And if he doesn't have the ball and Westbrook has it, is, is he going to give up the ball? Who are they going to put around them? Because everybody else is going to stand there and let's watch them two play. It's Mr. Three-Pointer and Mr. Triple-Double. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, that's why I cannot wait for this basketball season to start because we're going to see what Houston looks like now. You got two former MVPs on the same team. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Mr. Triple-Double Man, two Hall of Famers, you might as well say, you know, because they played great, um, just not in the postseason. Don't know how that's going to work. Uh, I don't even know why they did that. I, 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 if you really didn't want Chris Paul anymore, find somewhere for him to go wave him. Do whatever you got to do. But Westbrook, I, you got a guy who wants the ball in his hands all the time. Harden, you want the guy who got wants the ball in his hands all the time. You got to hit their offenses. Harden isolation. stands there. Doop, 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 doop. Isolation. Travels and then shoots the, the three. It, it's, it's, I don't understand it. I, I, I personally think, you know, they're going to – you know, make the playoffs, you know, and bow out like they've been doing. Unless D'Antoni, the coach of the Rockets, can figure a way out to. He couldn't find a way to. Was he there when, and I think he was there when Kobe and, and, and Howard were together. Was he there then? I don't know. I know he was there for a brief moment. He couldn't get half of the day because he, he's all about offense, not defense. So if he all he wants is offense, he got the right to. They should average a hundred and what thirty some points, points a game, game, but give up hundred and sixty seven. Is that let's get move on with the breakup of the Ghost State Wars because I wanted to touch on uh Draymond Green. Do you feel his attack during the game against uh Kevin Durant sort of sealed the deal for K D leaving? I think the biggest thing was it was Draymond Green who got him there. Yeah. And the dream on green that got him to leave. But you know why? This is my honest opinion. You're going to be rough on him because everybody say, one for him, LeBron would have just ran the gauntlet coming out of the East. Yeah. You add that piece. And this, well, it, Durant didn't need them. They needed Durant to get them where they needed to go. So I think he said, you know, I'm tired of this. Y'all keep on saying that he's the reason why we're doing this and why we did that. If you don't want to play here, then go. We can do it without you. Well, now you're going to have to prove it. Now they really, that's why uh, I feel like it diminishes their legacy a bit. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, going to five straight finals is amazing, but you lost. You you won in 15 with a depleted Cleveland team. Mm -hmm. LeBron, all by himself, who should have been the MVP of that finals, um, and then you come back the following year, you lose. You you guys was all healthy. Everybody was healthy. I know we had the ejection of mm -hmm. Draymond, right. but you still had Clay and Steph and all those pieces. You lost. Yep. You go get Kevin Durant. You run the table, run the league for two straight years. Mm -hmm. You don't have Kevin Durant, and I know they lost Clay in and out. You lose in six. So, and you know he sat there and was laughing. Yeah. Because they said they would, as, as I remember the game, when he was playing, they were playing. When he went out, it was like, okay. Damn. <laughs> oh, this, this would not be going to seven, huh? Draymond, <laughs> yeah. Draymond, if y'all remember, Draymond called Kevin Durant the B word on the, you know, he acting like a B. You know, we won before you came here. And, mm -hmm. you know, Kevin Durant's like, really? That's right. Okay, I'm a B. Okay. He didn't miss words. Kevin, that's he, not Kevin's style. That's not his style. And then it's going to end up costing Golden State in the long run. Yes, it will. That's why you should have. Man, please. Look at look at the Clippers now and look at L.A. Woo! I think your days have been numbered. But they had a real good run. They did. I give it to them. They had a good run. Too bad it's probably going to come to an end. You know what? Before we move on, we're going to have to hurry up because I know we got some other stuff to get to. So we'll talk about that off screen. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about it off screen. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Man, who will not get suspended by the NFL, Mr. Tyreek Hill. Bull. You, bull. Why are you saying it's bull? Yeah, that's bull. Kansas City Chiefs fans, you know, in this, and let's just say the state, it's probably like, what, three of them, they happy. They happy that no, he didn't they happy get suspended, but he should have been. It's going to be karma for the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. Now, the reason why I feel that this is some bull is because, now, I, I get it. Before he got drafted and when he was in college, he abused, he beat the living crap out of this woman. Uh, she was pregnant at the time, which yes. they don't really like to put out there. Nope. That this guy... Even though he was in college, he beat a pregnant woman. Yes, he did. So he already got that thing of putting his hands on people. people. And uh, what happened in this last incident, their son broke, somehow broke an arm. Not at the playground. It was in the home. home. So mysteriously, the cops is there. People is there. So how, it all did, how did all that happen? Mm-hmm. So the yep. NFL, and I, I heard that uh, Tyreek Hill didn't even go to New York. Nope. He didn't even go to New York. Nope. Why is Zeke, why did Zeke get pulled back and forth across the country? Hey, hey, come here. We're going to talk. to. In this last incident, he had to go talk to Goodell in New York. Yeah. Very, uh, Goodell need to get out the discipline business because he don't know what the hell he's talking about. If you're going to not suspend Tyreek Hill for the audio, and you can go online and l listen to it. When yes. I heard that, when I heard the whole, when the woman is saying, oh, your son is terrified of you, and he replies, you should be terrified of me too, B. That's what he said. Yeah. That's suspension but, right there. But I think they feel that devil's advocate. He didn't lay a hand on her. That's just a verbal threat. Hey, well, not, you know what? Not even a threat. He just saying, you should be scared. Well, man, you should be scared of me. You should be scared of me, too. But I did beat your ass when you was pregnant. But see, that was back in but college. But then, I'm... St oh, please. That was back in college. I'm just playing devil advocate. I feel I that it's bull. That. I think it's bull. Oh. But I'm just playing devil's advocate. I think it's bull. He should have been sent home for at least three, four, five games. At least. Since the, the police didn't find nothing... The NFL, and I hope Kansas City Chiefs do the right thing. That's common because neither did the NFL, the female NFL investigator didn't find nothing on Zeke, and he still got suspended. He still got six games. Folks, that's all the time we have for you. We'll keep it rocking and rolling next week. Peace.